What's up, family? Boy, the hits keep coming. A British judge has deferred sentencing an Oxford University med student who pled guilty to stabbing her boyfriend in a drug feud argument. This after he stated that the extraordinary woman might not be able to become a surgeon. Boy, it must be nice. Boy, you got that money got that prestige, got that right tone. Shit, man, basically get away with anything. So this is what he's saying at the end of the day, y'all. He's saying that this chick, because she has so much great potential and she has aspirations to become a doctor, he's not going to put her in jail. <laughs> this is actually what he said. This is what, this is his statement. It seems to me that if this was a one-off, a complete one-off, to prevent this extraordinary able young lady from not following her long-held desire to enter the profession she wishes to would be a sentence which would be too severe. Now that's cold enough. But you know he really wanted to say something like this. It seems to me that if this was a one-off, a complete one-off, I don't even give a damn because she got money, she got prestige, and she's white. And her family lawyer has already contacted me and my people, and we paid, and they expressed to us that, hey, man, everything cool, and we're going to be going out yakking with them next month. We may even go and do a whole family vacation thing with a man because we're white, we're rich, and we're privileged. That's what he wanted to say. Oh, yeah, and fuck y'all. These are our laws, our country. You're just visitors. Yeah, that's what he really wanted to say. Now, a lot of people in Britain, they pissed about this. They talking about it. They said, nah, man, it's... Some people saying, oh, it's a class thing. Oh, I, I love it when people like to scream class. This is a class thing. It has nothing to do with race. Okay. Let's say she was a black chick who stabbed her boyfriend. And it doesn't matter if the boyfriend was black or white. But let's just say he was black. What do you think would have happened? Her ass would have went to jail. Straight up. Oh, and if he was white, oh, you can go ahead on and compound that time. That's how it go, man. That's the way these things go. Now, this is what they said she did exactly. They said that she stabbed the boyfriend in the leg. Well, first they said that she, I guess, was whooping on the boyfriend. The boyfriend called her mother. What kind of dude calls a girl's mother when he's under attack, getting his ass whooped? I don't know. But anyway, he called the mother for help. Of course, help didn't, didn't come because he called the mother and she threw a laptop at him, threw a glass at him, threw a jam jar at him, and finally stabbed him in the leg. Now she did all of this, and she get to walk into the sunset. Now, she pled guilty to um, unlawful wounding, which carries a maximum sentence of five years in prison, but because she pled guilty, she automatically qualifies for a reduced sentence. And not, not a complete walk away, I'm just saying a reduced sentence, but the judge has 
a lot of latitude as far as what he can do, what type of sentence he can impose. Just like judges in America, they got a lot of latitude. I don't think these judges should have that much latitude. These are human beings with certain biases, prejudices, certain emotions. They're up and down just like everybody else. They're human beings, so they have bad days. And God forbid you walk into one of those courtrooms and they're having a bad day. Shit, God forbid that you walk into the courtroom and they're having a good day. Because some of them, when, they got, when they're biased, and they got a chip on their shoulder, it don't matter what kind of day it is. They gonna tax you. So these judges, they got too much latitude, way too much latitude in terms of what they can do. They're controlling human beings' lives. Anytime you can decide, you know what? I could give them probation, but I ain't gonna do that. You know what? Nah, I take it back. I'm gonna give them probation. No, you know what? Let me think about it. Let me sleep on it. Because I can give them probation or I can give them a 10-year sentence. Think about that, y'all. A person could just push a button, just decide what he want to do to your life. He's in control of your life. He can decide to give you probation, give you a chance to get your act together and be free. Or he can sit you down for six months, county time in a regular jail or send you off to prison for a year, two years, five years, 10 years, some cases 20 years. It's whatever they decide, what they think, what they want to do. That is why you got to do every damn thing in your power to stay out of them damn jail cells. Stay out of the system. Don't give them an opportunity to control you. Don't give them an opportunity to be in control of your destiny because they don't give a damn how many kids you have. They don't care if you just had a newborn baby and your baby needs you and that's all your baby have. They don't care that you made a mistake, one mistake. They don't care if you made two or three mistakes or you made a couple bad mistakes that was big and then now you make this little petty mistake but the petty mistake is what's going to give you 30 years because they're operating under three strikes and you're out rule they don't care that you just recently got your life together and now you know your life been good for the last year you caught the case of two three years ago but the last two and a half years or so everything's been good in your life you got married you bought a new house, you got a new baby, you got a good job, everything's going good. They don't give a damn. They will punish you and they are going to punish you, especially if you are black. I can guarantee that. Now, this couple met on Tinder. Some of you out there are pro-internet when it comes to dating. I've always been skeptical of meeting somebody on the internet. And the reason being is that, hell, you can know people in person. You can know people on a personal level, meet somebody in the flesh for the first time, and they can fake you out. So imagine what somebody can do online, how somebody can post a fake profile and catfish you. How they can pose in front of cars and nice homes and they can be out eating one time and they taking pictures and stuff and it look like they got it going on. And when you find out, you really, really get to know them, you find out that they're living in their mom's basement or they might even be homeless. They come off online like they're nice people, they're great. Wow, this guy seems to be a real nice guy, seems like he got it going on. Uh, I remember reading a story recently where a girl was beat damn near to death by a guy that she met online. She said he looked like he had it going on. So online, you can become anything you want to be. You can just push buttons and put up pictures and just become anybody that you want to be. And a lot of times people will fall for it. 
So I don't trust the internet in regards to dating. Um, now, this is what I want to know. Why would the judge think that giving someone who is a self-admitted drug user, an addict, giving that person a break so that they can become a doctor. Who in the hell thinks it's a good idea? Any, who, who in their right mind would think it's a good idea to allow a drug addict to operate on them? They wouldn't. That's why they're trying to conceal that case. That's why they're trying to make that case go away. The, the sad part about it is that when they make it go away, she is still going to practice medicine. And you got to know, if she's a junkie now, she'll probably be a junkie when she become a doctor. And she's going to operate on somebody while she's under the influence. And you know what's going to happen. They probably won't figure out what happened because, you know, they have a, they got a code in the medical world where well, they cover up debts every single day. And if you tell, you whistleblow, your career will be over. So, but that's a whole nother video, a whole different story. But you know what? Like I was saying about the U.S. earlier, the U.S. operate under the same system that their British daddy operate under. They got four systems, not one, not two, it's four systems of justice. They got one for the wealthy and another for the poor. They got one for whites and they have one for everybody else, especially if you're black. They have a special interest in punishing black people. So you got to avoid these people by all means. Don't walk into the trap. Don't give them a chance to do you dirty because they waiting on it. Don't sit back and hope that they have a conscience and leave it to God. No, God had already given you control. He's already told you what the deal is. He's already informed you. Use that information. Stay your ass out of that system by any means. I don't give a damn what it is. Anything little small, they're going to make it look like it's big. You sell one rock, the damn headline going to be drug lord busted in steam and they going to have they going to put the cameras on have you walking and you ain't you ain't making no more than $200 a day they're going to make it seem like you the biggest damn drug czar in the history of mankind so stay the hell away from that system man and i'm going to leave y'all with this after thinking about all of this Injustice in the name of justice. You know, it's funny how they can have compassion and easily give certain people second chances. But depending on your background, as soon as you walk into that court, they're looking upside your head and they don't have any empathy whatsoever. It's no compassion. They are going to lock your ass up. They don't care about your children, your mama, your woman. They don't care nothing about you. They have no compassion. This is why it's important to have people to actually really be judged by a jury of your peers and even a judge of your peers. Yeah. It's very important. Now, of course, you have some cases where you get a Clarence Thomas, those type motherfuckers don't count. But usually, if somebody come from the same background that you have or somebody is judging you that looks like you, uh, a lot of times they can relate and they're going to look at you as a person, as a human being, as someone who has a family like they have and such and such. Y'all know how it go, man. 
I'm just going in. I'm, I'm going to get on out of here because I'm going to start going too heavy on this shit, man. And I just really wanted to just drop a real quick video on y'all. But in conclusion, I'm going to tell you this. Instead of the girl being locked up, forget her. The fucking judge should have been locked up. No more talk. What, what, what the ladies talking about? Damn. Order of protection.